Okay, so let's take a look at this one. We are looking at, you know, just like we did last week, the accumulation phase of an annuity, ordinary annuity, since it doesn't say otherwise. Um, the formula for the future value, which is what we're looking for here, is the amount of payment, which is $200, times, we have three sets of parentheses, one plus our interest rate, 7.2% becomes 0 0.072, divided by the number of periods in a year. Well, this is monthly, per month, so it's 12 periods in a year. <clears throat> Close our parentheses. Now it's to the power of the number of periods in the, the term. Well, it's 30 years times 12 months in a year is 360 periods. Then part of the formula is just minus 1. Close your parentheses. Divided by open parentheses. 0 0.072 divided by 12, and then two close parentheses. So I'm going to get this punched in here. 200 times 1, 2, 3. 1 plus 0 0.072 <coughs> divided by 12, close parentheses. Power of 360. Now many of you will have to do this as well. you got to arrow out of your... Uh, either the right arrow or the down arrow to get out of your power, your exponent. Minus 1, close parentheses, divided by, <coughs> open parentheses, 0 0.072, divided by 12, close and close. 253,845. That's the only way to tell the calculator to do everything in the right order. In the book, it has the formula stacked, you know, as a fraction, but you can't enter it in the calculator that way, so you got to use the parentheses to, to define that. <coughs> yeah, without the parentheses, it's nonsense, yeah. How many of you had 253,845.09? Okay. Well, let's take a little bit of of a review of last week. Just a couple of problems similar to the ones we did. <coughs> That's one of them. And let's say um, you're going to make annual investments. So how much do you need to invest each year? at 9.7% to have a half a million dollars, $500,000 after 20 years. I'll give you a second to take a look at this one. See if you can put that in yourself. So let's take a peek. So now we're looking for the payment from the future value. So it's our future value of 500,000 divided by three open parentheses again. <clears throat> One plus, now it's the exact same term, 0 0.097 is our 9.7%. What are we going to divide by here? Well, if you said nothing, you could be okay with that. It's once a year. So technically, we're dividing by one, but we wouldn't have to put that in if we didn't want to. To the power of how many periods? 20. One period a year for 20 years. Minus one. Close parentheses. Divided by. Open. 0 0.097 divided by one again. And again, we could leave out the divided by one. <coughs> So we have 500,000 divided by 1, 2, 3, 1 plus 0 0.097 divided by 1, close, power, 20, minus 1, 
close divided by open 0 0.097 divided by 1 close and close and we get $9,031.83 How many of you had that? Okay. It is a lot to put away every year. Um, if you divide it up by 12 months, it's like $750 a month. That's not horrible, but it's, I mean, that's a house. If you don't have a house payment, I suppose that's a house payment. Yeah. Well, that's just it. You're going to pay, you'd be paying rent. So you're not, you can't just like, unless you're going to live in a cardboard box or something, I suppose. Then retirement might not be a huge priority. I don't know where my formula just disappeared to there, but we're done with it anyway. You've already bought. You know, and that is the way is to, to buy a relatively affordable home and pay cash for it or pay it off quickly and then have that money to put away. That is definitely one option. So Tim puts away $1,000 per quarter at... 12% interest for 40 years in an annuity due. And I just put an extra T in annuity, didn't I? So find the balance, find the future value. So give that a shot. Remember, see if you can remember the difference, how do you adjust for an annuity due. So we're going to start out with our payment, $1,000 times or divide. It'll be times, three open parentheses, one plus, 12% is going to be 0 0.12 divided by what goes in here? 0.12. How many periods in a year? Per quarter. So four. Perfect. To the power of, well, it's 160. 40 years times 4 quarters years, 160 quarters, minus 1, close, divided by, open, 0 0.012, divided by 4, or 0 .0, 0 0.12 divided by 4, I should say, close and close. So let's put this in, <coughs> 1,000 times 1, 2, 3. 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 4, close, power of 160, minus 1, divided by, open, 0 0.12 divided by 4, close and close. 3,300,000. Good catch. What do we have to do still? What's wrong with that? This has to be multiplied by what? Okay. Why do we have to do that? Because it's an annuity due. One plus the point zero or point one two divided by four. So this has to be multiplied by one plus point one two divided by four.
So three million eight fifty three. One hundred eighty point twenty eight. You can see we get over a hundred thousand dollars more than the annuity due because the difference is remember an ordinary annuity you pay at the end of the period. The annuity due you pay at the beginning of the period, so you get that extra period's worth of interest. This is a full quarter. <clears throat> so on three point seven million dollars, one quarter, three months worth of interest is a hundred and thirteen thousand dollars almost okay so that's pretty much our review of what we did last week with paying in or the accumulation phase of annuities so now we're going to take a look at the liquidation phase or drawing out So this would be after you retire and you want to start taking that money out and using it for something. Um, let's say that you have $600,000 saved up. <coughs> now one of the things that, that we have to throw in here that's a little bit of a subjective deal is we have to figure out how long we're going to draw out on it. In other words, we have to guess how long we're going to live for. Which I know sounds kind of morbid, but... Well, I mean, you have to have something to go off of, and that's, that's it. How, your longevity, your lifespan is how long you're going to have to draw out. You... I don't want to say plan to live, but you, from family history, you figure you're going to live so long. It's not like you've got a due date set that you're going to die on a certain day. But let's just say you're planning for 20 years of retirement. At... Now, usually in the liquidation phase, you're drawing the money out. <clears throat> a lot of times what you do is you take that money, you move it into a safer investment. So as you're investing it in that accumulation phase where you might be drawing 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, maybe even 12% interest, during the liquidation phase, a lot of times you're down that 4 or 5% interest. So we're going to say at 4.6% interest. How much can you draw per month? So the formula here is slightly different, um, as you probably could have guessed. <coughs> the monthly draw, or regular draw, is going to equal that dollar amount. Now, this is at the beginning of the term now, so that's actually a present value instead of a future value. Divided by, still three parentheses, one plus your interest divided by your number of periods in a year to the power of n, which is your number of periods, minus one, divided by, so far it looks identical, doesn't it? R divided by X again, but now is where it's different. Times 1 plus R divided by X to the power of N. Now, depending on your calculator, some of your calculators, if you have a one-line display, will not do this all in a single calculation. If you have the two-line display, TI-30, it will do it. So for this particular problem... Your present value is the $600,000 divided by three open parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.046 divided by 12 because we're going to draw it monthly, 20 years at 12 months a year is 240 periods, minus 1, close, 
divided by, open, 0 0.046 divided by 12 times 1 plus 0 0.046 divided by 12, close, power of 240, close and close. <coughs> yes, I know that's ugly. So let's get this entered. 1 plus 0 0.046 divided by 12. Power 240. Make sure you get arrowed out of the power. Minus 1. Divide by 0 0.046 divided by 12. Times open 1 plus 0 0.046 divided by 12. Close, power 240. Arrow out, close, and close. <coughs> I could draw $3,828.36 a month. That's a significant income. Now, 20 years, you know, if I retire in my it's in my 60s, I would hope to get at least 20 years. If I retire, you know, 55 to 60, maybe a little bit more than 20 years. So maybe that's a short period of time. Let's take a look at a little bit longer period of time. Anybody want to throw out some numbers for me? 30 years. Okay, how much money do you think you'll have in there? Half a million? Okay. So you have $500,000 invested at 5.2%. How much can you draw per month? For 30 years. Now I'm going to scroll back up. I can't get that formula on there, can I? Well... I can get that much of it on there for you. I'm going to let you guys try this. See if you can put that in your chest. It's not a lot different than the other formula. Just have that extra little term in there. <clears throat> so we have 500,000 divided by three open parentheses. 1 plus 0 0.052 divided by 12 because it is per month. Power of 360 because it's 30 years times 12 months in a year, minus 1 divided by 0 0.052 divided by 12 times 1 plus 0 0.052 divided by 12 to the power of 360, close and close. <clears throat> Imagine the days when I did these calculations by hand. <laughs> yes, <laughs> probably slide rule actually. At least, at least. So 27, 45, 55. Um, it's hard to compare. So how many of you had 27, 45, and 55 cents? No? We need to see a couple more examples of that. One person. Let's do another example or two of that. So let's say you retire at 64 with $700,000. The 
expect to live to 89, invest your money at 6%. How much per month can you draw out? Well, let's take a peek. Let's write this out. Our draw or our month or regular draw or, or payment is going to be our future value or present value, sorry, of 700,000 divided by 1, 2, 3, 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12. How many years are we looking at here? 25 years. 25 times 12 is 300 months. Minus 1, close, divided by open. 0 0.06 divided by 12 times 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12 to the power of 300. Close and close. <clears throat> Let's punch it in. There we go, 45, 10, 11. Any questions? Enormous numbers? Okay, let me come to you. Okay, let's have you guys try one more here. Let's say you have $300,000 at age 69, invested at 4.5%, or expect to uh, live to 84. How much per month? I'll pause and let you guys see if you can work that out. So we're looking at our 300,000 divided by 1, 2, 3, 1 plus 0.045 divided by 12. How many years are we looking at? 15 times 12 months a year is 180 months, minus 1, close, divided by open, 0 0.045, divided by 12 times 1 plus 0 0.045, divided by 12 to the power of 180, close and close. What do you guys get for answers as I'm getting this punched in? $2,294.98? Okay. Right. We've got two to the degree. That's a good sign. Anybody else get that answer? This takes, yeah, next to impossible by hand, to be honest. Um, I am all for encouraging people to work things out by pen with pencil, but not that one. Twenty-two ninety-four ninety-eight. How are we doing with these? 
Okay, questions or? Okay, well, as you can see, uh, kind of a lengthy formula, but as long as you get it down how to enter it, it's not that terrible to do. So let's take a peek at the other side of the coin. Let's say you're going to retire at 62. I'm just going to say live to, I mean, you guys know what I'm saying. You plan to live to 87. Your interest is 4%, and you figure that you need a minimum 2500 per month. How much do you have to save? Well, if you think about it, though, a lot of times in retirement you have your house paid off, so you don't have a house payment to make. You just have to pay taxes and stuff like that. Um, in, in retirement, you don't necessarily need a car. I mean, you may still have one, but again, you may have a car that's paid off. You don't have a lot of gas expenses because you're not driving to work every day. I mean, your expenses do go down considerably. $2,500 a month is $30,000 a year which isn't a horrible income even if you're working, but if you don't have all those work-related expenses, that's, a, in many cases, that's a decent livable income. <clears throat> Not to mention that you still have Social Security and stuff like that you may earn on top of that. So, this, just like we had with our future value and stuff last week, is the same formula with just one little tweak. The present value, the amount you need now in order to provide that $2,500 a month over the next, what is that, 25 years, is just that $2,500 times 1, 2, 3 parentheses, 1 plus 0.04 divided by 12. 25 years, so the power of 300 minus 1, close, divided by, open, 0.04 divided by 12 times 1 plus 0.04 divided by 12. Close. Still to the power of 300. Close and close. So let's punch this in. 2,500 times 1, 2, 3. 1 plus 0.04 divided by 12. Close. Oops, I didn't get my 1 in there. to the power of 300 divided by open by 0 0.04 divided by 12 Oops, not really there. times 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 12 473,631.21. So if it is your hope to draw out $2,500 a month for 25 years and you're investing in something that will give you 4% interest, you need to start out with just under 475,000. Any questions? Okay, it's 6.18 right now. We're just a touch early, but let's go ahead and take our break. We'll come back at 6.28.